Hey gorgeous, today we're going to look at seeing signs from the universe and how that can help make us millionaires. Let's get to it. Welcome to the powerhouse. Vanessa Long here, coach, trainer, and creator of Discovering Your Passion and Purpose, the Seasons of Success seminars, and the Party Goal Getting System. It's time for your mojo moment in which I share one of my favorite quotes and then give you a power tip so you can take the inspiration and use it right away. For regular motivation, make sure you click the subscribe button and ring that bell. All right, our quote today is from the One Minute Millionaire by Mark Victor Hansen and Robert G. Allen. And this is one of my very favorite books. I talked about this in my three for video where I reviewed three of my favorite millionaire mindset books and you can see that here. Okay, we are on page 222 today and our quote is, the universe is forever testing you and giving you feedback. The messages that you have been sending create an echo effect. The problem is that the feedback is not instantaneous, so it's sometimes difficult to observe and understand the cause and effect relationship. There are four things that I wanted to talk about from that quote today, and the first is that the universe gives us feedback. If you wanna be successful, this is a great way to think about what's happening in your life, that you are taking action and getting feedback. It isn't judgment, it isn't karma, it isn't something you've done wrong, it's simply the result of the actions that you've taken in the past. And you will get that feedback, it's a guarantee. And what we wanna do is get really, really good at seeing the feedback, discerning the feedback, learning what feedback matters and what feedback isn't really feedback at all, it's just stuff happening around us. So what do we actually need to pay attention to? And this ability to pay attention to what really matters is what we call in NLP, sensory acuity. Our ability to perceive reality with our senses. And that may sound easy. You may be like, I can totally do that. I see what's going on around me. But the truth is that because we have so much stuff going on inside of us, we're constantly projecting what we think is happening out into the world. Each one of us is creating a story to build our model of the world about how we think the world works and what we think it all means. So sensory acuity is the ability to see what's happening out there accurately. The second thing is that there is a delay between what you put out, the actions you take, the thoughts you think, the affirmations you say, and the results that you get. There is a delay and that delay can be pretty significant. Most of us, don't have the patience to wait for the feedback to get to us before we judge what we've been doing as not working or wrong or bad. And this is why in the seasons of success, especially in Harvest, we pay so much attention to gathering in what's happened. One of our main harvest periods is the previous quarter, the previous 90 days. And the reason we do that is because one quarter, one three month period is actually a pretty common feedback loop. That the actions you started taking 90 days ago, the things you were thinking 90 days ago are showing up 90 days later. That's a big delay for our little brains that just can't hold the idea of what did I have for breakfast today, let alone what was I doing 90 days ago that I'm now seeing the impact of. The other thing that happens is because of those stories we tell ourselves, we have blind spots. We won't see that this action that I started taking is having really great benefits now, or this action that I started taking 90 days ago that wasn't healthy is starting to have impacts on my life, that my energy is lower, things just aren't as good. So we need this regular process of harvesting to make sure that we're in the right place at the right time, doing the right thing to get to our goals and dreams. The next thing is that if you want to see real change in your world, you've got to take a bigger perspective. You cannot have your nose buried down to the grindstone every day after day without taking a pause to do what we call strategic planning. You have to get up and out of it. In NLP, we call it chunking up, but you have to take that a helicopter view 
so that you can see the forest instead of just having your nose pushed up against that one tree all the time. That's how you figure out if what you're doing actually makes a difference and if it's moving you in the direction that you want to see. Because of course when you're in the forest you can't see the other side so you've got to get up above the trees every now and then and I would suggest on a really regular basis to make sure that you get where you want to go and you don't lose your way. If you're ready to receive the feedback from the universe, write hashtag powerhouse in the comments. And to learn the seven steps to create real change that will get you off the line of fate and moving towards your destiny, make sure you sign up for the powerhouse success cycle checklist. It's linked in the description. So what was your nugget of gold today? What did you learn, realize, or remember that you'll be able to use to make your life better now? What feedback have you been receiving that now you're seeing as feedback? Oh, and what needs to shift quickly to get you back on track or to get you moving where you want to go? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you there. If you like this video, click the thumbs up and share it out with your powerhouse peers so they can share in the inspiration. And if you're new here, click subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss a thing. And for those of you mojo masters who know to hang around until the end of the video, here is your bonus power tip. Learning to see archetypally, getting up and out of the forest so that you can see the big picture, that you can see the flows and the symbolism and the meaning behind things. That's how you create real change, that second and third order change that I always talk about. And I'll link to the video where I talk about how to create real change here. When you choose to see archetypally, when you choose to see symbolically, your life takes on a mythic structure or a mythic narrative and you can choose to have your life be this way. So when I say that your life matters, what I'm really saying is that your life fits into a grander plot line, a grander story arc, that you're not just here to do the mundane things of I was born, I went to school, I had kids, I worked for 50 years and then I kicked off. That's boring. What I like to do is figure out how my clients have a mythic structure to their life, how their life matters, how it means something, how everything that has happened in the past has been leading up to this moment. And when you choose to look at this moment as a powerful moment, that's when you can pivot. That's when you can say, I want something different. I want something new. And then actually work to have that happen. And I believe that for you. And I want that for you, this beautiful mythic grand life where you are here to build a better world. So if you wanna learn how to create something truly meaningful, something truly majestic, or you simply wanna learn how to set a goal and get a goal, how to create real change, make sure you get that success cycle checklist that's linked in the description. All right, that's it for today's mojo moment. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.